Hey guys, we're talking about a brand new scent from House of Mammoth called The Loved in today's video, coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host John, aka Latherhog. Remember, if you like videos about wet shaving, if you like the videos on this channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and show your love for what we're doing here. In today's shave, I'll be sharing with you my first impressions on this new scent from House of Mammoth, and that is Beloved. And you can see the soap right here, as well as the matching splash. So first, a little background on this scent, Beloved. This one is a revision uh, or revisiting of a scent that Ben, the artisan behind House of Mammoth, uh, made with his wife Elaine. Uh, back, I believe in 2014, they were making bath soaps together, uh, experimenting with different scents, making their own blends and whatnot. And this combination of scent notes is what, I don't know if it's called Beloved originally, but they came up with this blend. And Ben has come back revisited and after much more experience in creating scents from scratch, uh, decided to give it a little update uh, with what he knows now. So that's the story behind the scent. We'll get to the notes and the scent strength and all the details in just a little bit. But first, let me show you what we're gonna use for today's shave. First up with the razor, we're going once again with the Aylesworth Razors Dracant, this handsome razor right here. Today, we're gonna try a Rapira Platinum Luxe Blade. Uh, this is my first time trying that combination, but really so far, with all my shades with this razor, uh, no matter what blade I threw at it, I believe it's Gillette Nasset, Gillette Silver Blue, uh, I guess a lot of Gillette stuff. <laughs> Those have gone really well. This razor, in a nutshell, is low blade feel and moderately high efficiency, and very excited to use it again today. As for my brush, we're going with this one right here from Mozingo Brushworks. This one I picked up off my buddy Gerard, a co-host of Lather Talk Podcast. I believe the knot is a Maggard's SHD knot, uh, fan 26 millimeters. I'm typically drawn to these kind of combinations where it's black and one other pop of color in a swirl. Quite a number of my brushes are, you know, this kind of motif. And every artisan, when they make their own pores, things come out a little different. Even with the swirls, sometimes uh, the color that you think is going to be dominant doesn't quite turn out that way, or the swirls are really tight or really large. Uh, it's, it's a little bit random, and even if there are multiple brushes with the same kind of pour, uh, there will even be great variety in that. So if you kind of look back on other brushes I use, you might notice I do like uh, this aesthetic. So that's the brush for today. Also, I'm working with four days worth of beard growth, which we'll be chopping down today. All right, so as I'm working on this face lather, let me share with you the scent notes for Beloved. So what we've got here is bergamot mint, French lavender, ambergris, immortel, sandalwood, and lastly, Texas cedar. Now in terms of scent strength, off the top, I would say this is about five out of 10, and it probably remains the same uh, now that I'm lathering it. I will say that the citrus, the bergamot mint, uh, really pops right now, so it's, I feel like it's uh, very, very apparent in my nose. It sticks out more in lathering than it did off the tub, although it's certainly there. And there's something familiar about this scent too. And I think I, I kind of chalk that up to uh, the classic combination of citrus and lavender, or even citrus, lavender, and wood. I think a lot of artisans do have uh, especially when kind of uh, testing out their own scents when they're starting out. Those are very, I think, very, um, I can't miss, it's like peanut butter and jelly. Uh, the, the scents are, are gonna work together. The familiarity certainly helps and it's just very enjoyable. Personally, I'm a big fan of both bergamot and lavender and those are easily the strongest notes in this scent. And if memory serves me correctly, I do think even Sterling Soap, offering one of the best bang for your buck, 
has this very combination bergamot lavender in their lineup. If you guys are familiar with the other scents from House Mammoth, I would say this one is a bit of an outlier. Uh, Beloved is much more simple and straightforward than some of the um, often complex scents that Ben makes. And I think what uh, fellow witch shavers really enjoy from him are his dark scents. And I think na you know, nailing a, a good darker scent, things that use vetiver, you know, leather type note, leather accords, they can be kind of hard to pull off. And he has quite a few. So if you are, I guess if you're kind of seeking something simpler, something a little bit brighter overall, this one certainly fits the bill. I feel like in the last few shaves that we've done on video, I wound up talking about the pronunciation of some word and it kind of is an excuse to ask you guys, you know, what do you, how do you say things? So today's word of the day is the name of the soap, Beloved. You can say it Beloved, almost like it's two separate words, be loved, which works very well. And the other way to say it would be Beloved. Uh, think like at a wedding and you know, the preacher, the pastor is saying, you know, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. All that's to say, let me know, how do you guys say the name of the soap? Beloved, beloved, some other pronunciation I haven't even thought of. I'd love to know and I would love to hear from you in the comments below. All right, so moving on from word pronunciations, here is the lather we have for today. The Tusk Base is the name of the, the soap base from House of Mammoth. And it, it's a good one. And here we go with the Jacant for the first pass. All right, so, so far, very smooth experience. Very little blade feel as uh, with the other razor pair, razor blade pairings rather. And really no problems cutting down my four days worth of beard growth. I should mention there was uh, the last uh, video that I featured the Dracon, which was more or less my early impressions. Where I was lucky enough to get a comment directly from Caleb, the designer and owner of Aylesworth Razors. And I just wanted to make the note that uh, I think in the video I'd mentioned writing the cap as oftentimes uh, certain, you know, certain razors like the Carve Christopher Bradley, which I compared it to, uh, recommends writing the cap. In this case, uh, when I mentioned Caleb did a video on his own razor, he was actually talking about uh, writing the base plate. So just a note there in case you're, you picked up the razor or picking up the razor I mean, either way, if you, if, if you try to ride the base plate versus the cap, I think you still will adjust your angle accordingly to get your hairs cut. But I'm not above adding, uh, putting in corrections uh, in my videos. So there's that. Also, the first pass is done. So let's rinse up and get ready for the second pass. So, solid shave again, two passes, and I'm proud to say no weepers. So I might have the shaving thing down, guys. Um, <laughs> or at least, you know, knowing how much pressure to use with the Dracon in particular. It actually made me think of uh, one razor I'm going to have to put on my, uh, you know, upcoming shaves is the Razor Rock Game Changer 0.84. Uh, a great, you know, for especially value-wise, a great razor. That's one that I do like its performance, but I always had uh, weepers under my neck. So maybe now that I'm kind of more observant of it, I should go back and give it a try. Anyway, let's go with the aftershave splash here. 
give it a good hearty shake. The Mammoth Splash does have, um, I forget if it's menthol or synthetic coolant. Uh, so it has some cooling agent. It also does contain alcohol for those who might be wondering, is it a alcoholic or non-alcoholic um, splash base? This one always feels really good though, just as a, as a base formula. Yeah, but overall great shave today. So uh, let's, let's roll into the wrap up. All right, so first off, let's talk about the scent we loved. Uh, this one, I think overall, uh, if I had to give it a rating, it's a like, not a love for me. Uh, I did mention this is a more, it's a simpler scent. It's not as complex. Uh, it's not offensive though either. I think these are very likable scents. You got your citrus with your bergamot, lavender covering a very basic likable floral, and then sandalwood and cedar for uh, a, a good woody base. So I would say this is very approachable and that might be what you guys want. Uh, as far as in comparison though with other scents, I mean, I can't help but, um, you know, just kind of double down on my statement. There are other more interesting scents, darker or otherwise, from House of Mammoth, and I just like those better. So it's a comparison thing. Uh, in and of itself, this is a, it's, it's a safe scent and it's a pleasant scent. But again, at the end of the day, I'll categorize it as a like and not a love. Now for the soap base, uh, I mentioned it's the tusk. It's, uh, the tusk base, it's tallow based. Um, excellent performer easy to whip up, and this is in my S tier of shave soaps. So that's the tippy top of the tier list, um, and that's that tier list is on shave soap performance. And as far as the razor, the Jocant goes, uh, another very comfortable shave. I will say one thing observed, at least with today's blade pairing, are um, I always have to do a little more cleanup. So there might be a stray hair at the very like bottom by the neck, or for today, um, I had to go back and get kind of a few stray uh, hairs in the, must in the mustache area. And uh, I mean, for the greater, broader areas of skin though, this thing takes, takes it down like a champ. I would say in comparison uh, to the Carve Overlander, which is one that we compared to last time, other folks in the community have compared it to as well. This one probably has a smidge more blade feel and a little bit more efficiency as well but it's a very good comparison as far as um, other razors that are out on the market. But that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video, guys. Uh, it's a very straightforward shave today, just talking about the soap, um, kind of a little update on the razor, not too much else. Uh, be on the lookout though for, if you're looking for the nitty gritty details on the Aylesworth Dracon, that video is coming next week. We'll do a razor spotlight on that. Also, don't forget that a new episode of Lather Talk came out. I got a catch up with Gerard and we had a listener on uh, for a brand new segment, Listener Spotlight. Uh, you can check that out here on YouTube or your favorite podcast provider. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video, for taking some time out of your busy day and just joining me for this shave. I hope you guys are doing well and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Today's video was made possible in part by our wonderful patrons. For more information about our Patreon, check out patreon.com slash lather talk. You can also check out our Etsy store and pick up a comfy lather talk t-shirt or coffee mug. Find all the links down below.